Hello and welcome and yet another explanation about the scenarios before the legendary cloak. Here goes Cupcake. In this case Solo Nibirus, but yeah. Right, this is the second um, scenario, solo scenario, which you got uh, before actually starting the legendary quest. So we're still on the road to complete Rathian's thingy. Um, yeah. I didn't, uh, I didn't put on the sound from the game because it's a bit annoying. So if you want to know what they're saying, just read the subtitles. They are written down below. So this is just a little uh, movie to keep things tensive, exciting, making you want to go for it. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> So as I said, it's not uh, the Thunder Forge all-knowing scenario yet, but it's actually the scenarios you need to do before you unlock the Thunder Forge. I guess it's around three scenarios, if I'm not mistaken, that you need to do before you actually unlock Raytheon's Thunder Forge. And this is the second one. So we got to meet this dude who got electrified by another dude, who got electrified from a god, who got something to do with electricity, who will finally try to kick our asses. Here we go. Find lost explosives. Acquire the heavy explosives. Sir, yes sir. Now, am I gonna have to follow the woman? Or am I going to have to do this all alone? As usual, run around, wait for the person to start this thing and kill some ads. Something weird with this ad here. Why does this one has it? He drank a potion. That is just evil. No one drinks a potion. No potions allowed, you cheater. Okay, kill it, kill it, kill it. Right, they're dead. Alright. I don't really think I need to kill the big guy. It wouldn't be much of a problem though, but... Uh, I don't think so. I can see a cogwheel on the minimap, so head for the cogwheel. Until now, very, very, very important things to get going on. Just head for the cogwheel. Very hard. Ooh, so intensively hard. Chain lightning! And once again he drank a potion, maybe they both did, I don't know, one died, the other one drank a potion and died. Okay, so we found the explosives, and we're going towards the explosives cockwheel. Hello, can I steal you? I can. Stage complete. Speak with Verissa at the city wall. So yes sir. Alright, that's the all the other way, so I'm gonna mount up here and just try to avoid the big one, because, yeah, I need to advance uh, a bit faster. It wouldn't be much of a problem to kill him, like, I don't think so. Um, here's a devil sore, very easy to solo these guys, just watch out very closely for their spit and don't send in his venom breath and you'll be just fine. Now, I don't really think I'm, I need to kill these ads, but, yeah. I'll do it anyway. So, he just did something and I replied to it by killing him. <laughs> killing trolls, what an enjoyment. Not really, but still. Such so much flashbacks to the Zandlare. Why am I killing these guys? Should I be killing these guys? The answer to that question is basically no, you don't need to. Just go to Vera and talk to her. There you go. Talk. Here are the explosives, woman. Stage complete. Light diffuse on the heavy explosives. Alright, now this could be a little bit tricky. I don't really mean tricky, but yeah, I got myself fooled in it. I started to nuke these guys because I thought, okay, I need to be at the wall right there because the cockwheel is right there. So, might as well clear it. I wasn't aware, of course, of the fact that when they die, they kind of like respawn almost immediately. So right now it's still not really a problem, but you'll see, the closer I get to the fuse, the more, the more they will spawn on me, trying to keep me from the fuse. They will actually like start spawning right on top of me, or, well, almost then. And I don't really 
intend or like to hug a lot of trolls. See? See? He just came for me straight away. He went like, <gasps> it's a panda! Free meat! Kill it! Now, I wasn't too happy with it because this was taking way too long than I actually wanted. I just want to get to this fuse. Come on. They actually tried to kill me. And they try hard. It's okay, just one, no problem. But yeah, uh, but did, where did he come from? See what I mean? I just need to click the fuse. Let me click it. I won't let me. No, stop spawning on me, please. Die. Okay, here we go. Ah, come on. What? All right. <clears throat> so they can like spawn. There is no action casting bar when you need to defuse uh, the, the, the fuse. So uh, as soon as the thing is uh, lit, they will like despawn. So my advice to you is talk to Vera and just run to the wall, activate that thing and don't get caught like I did in way too many battles that aren't really necessary. The same thing here, um, just kill a couple of them. It's like a maze, but if you use your map, it's not that hard to get there though. Uh, it's just like a maze, just kill what's necessary to kill and don't really look after the rest. I thought it would be interesting to kill the rest, um, just in order to bring these guys along, but I don't really think it has any meaning, so I didn't do it. You will be needing to clear some dudes, not that it's such a big deal, but you know, just to get to your destination which is by the way war god chocolate war god chocolate mmm chocolate let's just kill some trolls for the chocolate I'm coming right eliminate the eyes that's like basic right everywhere you come eliminate the eyes because they will spot you and bring you a lot of trouble not really but they might bring you trouble so just nuke it <coughs> moving ahead on the road trying to find my destination who is chocolates I got a surprised here like I just wanted to pwn those two and then move along but for some ridiculous reason there's another guy over there and he does not like it and brings along his friend so just nuke it chain lightning for people who don't have chain lightning just use all aoe you got it's not really a big deal it's more fun than it is difficult and we move along ghost wolf is die you know Alright, Isle of Thunder, we're getting close to our chocolate destination, and here we are. A dude to kill. It's the empowered dude. So, yeah. This battle is very easy. It's very easy. He doesn't really have a lot of health, and he only does like one or two things, like this lightning pole. Just get out of the dark matter at the floor and you will be fine he dies pretty fast so as I said he doesn't really has a lot of HP so nuki 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 get out of the black and die some dramatical end you are forbidden to eat him by the way it's not because he's named chocolate that you can actually like eat him so don't by the way there's nothing left of him anyway so can't eat right when this is done Congratulations, your second pre-scenario is done. Just let them have some RP, take the portal back to the camp and get ready for part number three. Until then, over and out. Cupcake! Yeah. I really mean yeah. Alright, I'll see you later in part 3 of Cupcake Goes Legendary. <laughs>